Our Father, we come today celebrating a happy time, the union of two that you have brought together and ordained. And I ask that you bless this time with your presence. We ask that you give us joy in our hearts as we celebrate with these two. Thank you for the love that they have for each other. And thank you for the love of the families for them. We celebrate this time together in Jesus' name. Amen. Thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife. Live together after God's command. State of holy matrimony. You love her. Comfort her. Honor her. Keep her in sickness and in health. Second, all others, keep thee only unto her as long as you both shall live. Amen. With my whole heart, I take you as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your faults and your strengths as you do mine. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to always make our family's love and happiness a priority. I promise to dream with you, to celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever this life may bring. Do you have any clue what you mean to me? Since the day Roger picked me up curbside sitting on a suitcase, my eyes have been wide open. Let's flash forward from 2007 to 2010. Since 2010, you helped me become a better man. You influenced me to pursue my dreams, and most importantly, you improved my relationship with God. The push you gave me to pursue my dreams taught me that life with you would be far from average. Dreaming of a future with you confirmed what God spoke to me, what my heart and mind wanted, and this is, it is this, that I want to share the rest of my life with you. For two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. I'm not great at math, but I know you and I make two people. Through success, failure, joy, pain, and everything in between, I want you at my side. I want our two to consistently work as one. I promise to be your rock protecting you and our family, our pillow, your pillow when you cry, your friend and husband at all times. I promise to be the head of the household, leading us while following God's word. This is the best daughter God could give anyone. And I know she is very, very picky. I know she waited on her special order. And so that makes you a wonderful man and I already know that I love you I love my daughter and this is when you're a happy mother which when you know that your daughter is the man that God picked for her she's also the girl with the biggest heart and I couldn't ask for a better friend or sister she's always been there for me always and she always knows exactly what to say so Alyssa you are marrying the most adventurous girl with the biggest heart and the best laugh. And now we are we are charged with being husbands and that's that's a huge responsibility as well as being a good father and I know that you're going to do an awesome job at it and this beautiful woman has sacrificed her life to be with you. Scripture says that he who abides in love abides in God. Worship is a natural response to water whom we love the most. And since this day is about love, it's only right. It's about God, the author, and the one who is truly worthy, uh, worthy of worship. Therefore, it is the heartfelt desire of this couple, Jahira and Haley, to welcome you today to share in their covenant and commitment of love during this time of worship. <laughs> 